Hey, Ben, how are you? Hi. Uh, thanks for participating in this today. I really appreciate it. Um, would you mind introducing yourself and uh, telling us a little bit about what you do at SMFA at Tufts? So my name is Ben Aaron. Uh, I am one of the studio managers for Media Arts. Uh, so I oversee uh, the video uh, sound area and um, also what we refer to as our um, digital media area. So that is uh, VR and a lot of our um, uh, 3D animation as well. How is your role uh, a little bit different uh, being a part of a school that has an interdisciplinary studio art program? I do spend a, a lot of time uh, assisting students trying to uh, create hybrids between a lot of different media. Um, you know, in some cases it's as simple as, uh, you know, students looking for a way to either use uh, video or sound to document something that they're working on, like either, you know, performance or um, something else that's durational, you know, perhaps a, um, an installation. Um, but then there are a lot of really interesting uh, projects that students come to me with where they're, you know, thinking, oh, you know, I'd really like to implement these uh, speakers into a sculpture and then project on it. And um, yeah, so I, I really have a fantastic time assisting students with that as well. That sounds great. Are there some uh, exciting student projects you've seen or helped with that uh, you could tell us about? Yeah, I mean, it, it's been really exciting to uh, see students delve into multi-channel video installations. So that's um, creating these environments where there's uh, multiple screens of video playing at the same time uh, in sync. Uh, so they can actually uh, edit um, across uh, multiple, uh, <laughs> in some cases, like many, many screens. Um, and then really kind of have um, multiple surfaces or multiple uh, screens, depending if they're projecting or using screens, um, interacting and following the same uh, time frame. And uh, so that, that's been that's been really exciting to help out with. Um, just uh, really um, helping students think about uh, particularly people who have been working in video, which frequently can be a, a 2D medium, uh, and thinking about, okay, well, how does that apply to the space and uh, how the viewer uh, may interact with something that's kind of spread across um, multiple uh, surfaces. So, Tell me a little bit about how, how are artists at the school using virtual reality? Yeah, so it's, it's been really uh, fantastic to see uh, students taking the uh, virtual reality class that uh, Kurt Rolski uh, teaches, um, and then really incorporating that with some other digital media. Uh, so for instance, there's students are also working in photogrammetry and then potentially doing some other, um, you know, uh, 3D or digital work that then has uh, physical crossovers in the advanced production lab in terms of 3D printing. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been fantastic to uh, really uh, yeah to just be the one who's uh, supporting the digital media uh, courses at the school and uh, having you know conversations with Kurt about where he thinks that uh, you know all these uh, really interesting new uh, mediums are ending up and hearing a little bit about the courses he's developing. It's, uh, yeah, it's been it's been really exciting to kind of. Um, yeah, be, be researching things that are only, you know, softwares or uh, workflows that, you know, are really cutting edge. So that's been really great. That sounds uh, pretty exciting. Um, and, uh, you know, one last question, since we're all, uh, we're all sequestered away in our various places, uh, are you watching anything good recently? I'm, I'm really happy that uh, John Oliver's Last Week Tonight uh, has been continuing, uh, even though that they're shooting at his apartment. Um, it's, yeah, I, I always, you know, enjoy kind of that, uh, uh, like, news style satire. And, uh, yeah, it's been really helping me get through everything, so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we all need a little of that right now. Um, cool. Well, Ben, Thank you so much for spending the time. I really appreciate it. Oh, of course. Yeah, thank you.